Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? I am going to give you a video tour of my dressing area. And I'm gonna start, this is kind of a long view of the room. There's my bathroom area. And actually, if you come in from my bedroom, it looks like this. Okay, so I've got like, I decided every since we went to Europe that some doorways I wanted to put a um, curtain between. So that's why this is a curtain. And then you come in and I uh, took the door off of this closet because I kind of liked it being open, but it's a mess right now. So we're not going on with that. Bathroom's in there. And then this is my dressing area. Okay, so I'm going to give you a long view if I can. Like that, okay? And my husband, this was regular wood. This is an older home. And so he painted it black and we want to put crystal um, knobs on it. But right now it's the antique brass, which works because antique brass goes with antique brass uh, dressing stool. You can see my, um, there's a hidden palette or two under there and you can also see my um, hair dryer under there. And in here, I will just go ahead and tell you, we're not gonna actually do a tour of this because it's embarrassing, but that is part of my, um, yeah, it's pretty bad, um, makeup drawer, which I don't even use because I get ready in another area. And then over here is my, um, you can see I'm missing some Chanel's because I've been you know, doing my nails with Chanel. And so there's um, my top two rows of Chanel and then some OPI. Then miscellaneous, I think Marc Jacobs, Borghese, Dior, and Estee Lauder. And then below that, you've got Floss Unlimited, YSL, NARS, and um, <clears throat> who is that coach? I love these, by the way. I don't think you can get them anymore. My nail teenies, which I love. Lots of Essie and Sally Hansen. Um, that's Sephora X over there in the corner. And my Guerlain, my one Guerlain in terracotta color. I love that. And... I've got some um, Skylark. These are probably collector's items because Ellen Bla Blair Fowler, I don't believe, are doing these polishes anymore. And um, <clears throat> then those are all just a lot of miscellaneous from L'Oreal and um, Victoria's Secret. So that's my nail collection. And then there's another bag that would not fit. Probably would be another whole shelf of these. Is that ridiculous? I know. I know it's ridiculous. And then there is a picture my husband took on our honeymoon because he's taken so many pictures, and he said, let me take just one more picture. The irony of that is, I am the picture taker, it drives him crazy now. So here's another picture of our wedding. Sorry, I'm trying not to get the glare. And, um, yes. Uh -huh. So, in here, um, again, this is an older bathroom. I need to replace that um, switch plate with something prettier, and probably paint this either black or gold or something to make that not so ugly. But um, one of the things I do to kind of make this area prettier is I use night lights on either end that are kind of, you know, they're just a little, they make the area look a little fancier, especially if you cut the lights off. We've also got a, um, I've heard this can be a danger now, but we've got a fader light on this. So see how it kind of makes that night, especially it makes the area look prettier. I don't know if you can tell because of the, the light from the bathroom, but anyway. Okay, so let's just go over it. I have uh, what was a soap dish, and I was putting uh, rings in that used in as a ring holder at night, or a real pretty soap, um, a little Paris soap. And then I, I got this piece. I forgot where I got this, y'all. I got it online somewhere, but I loved, I love peonies. And so I like that it was lifted up in the air instead of on the ground. Y'all seen this in some of my background shots. I just thought that's pretty, so I changed that for this week. And then I'm low on Q-tips, but that's where they go. And then, of course, that is... A, this is actually supposed to be for mouthwash, but you could also put this beside your bed and let it be for, uh, you know, when you get nighttime um, dryness, dry throat. Like sometimes I'll wake up, I'm thirsty. You could put that beside the bed. I went with brass. This is real brass. Uh, these pieces are from, um, not Grand and Road. Where is it from? Because so you see this piece and you see this piece. And I think, actually that's from Tuesday morning, that little piece, that little. Um, but anyway, and then that's just a, y'all seen how many um, makeup brush collections I have that have gold on them. I just think that's particularly pretty. And that's uh, my Chanel lipsticks and um, cotton balls. And that's just a canister set for the kitchen, but I thought it was so pretty because it kind of just went in here and looked prettier. 
um, I can't believe I can't think of the name of this. I'll, I'll write it in below. But, um, and then I have kind of a drawer of brushes and, and, um, hair treatments and stuff like that, you know, like oils and stuff just for when you're not really styling your hair because it's going to make your hair real oily. And then this is my perfume collection, so I will include this. Um, I don't know if y'all remember, I also have a perfume bay in my bedroom, but this is the ones that I use the most. And so you see Dior, um, oh, what is that called? Attic. And that's Dior, J'adore, and that's Miss Dior. I kind of keep the collection names together. This is uh, Brie Court Paris Oud Santal and a Tom Ford lipstick. And this is one of my absolute, absolute favorites. Um, it's expensive and it's kind of um, a pain to get. It's by Lubin, L-U-B-I-N. It's called Gin Fizz. Y'all, this smells so fresh and good. And I love the, 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 the shape of the bottle kind of looks like Princess Grace when she came to Monaco with this big, huge hat. And I wonder if that's why it's that shape because they said they couldn't see their princess's new face and they were so upset. And this was, a uh, gin fizz was a very popular drink at her height of, I don't know, popularity. And it was named after her. It was a, a um, person she liked. So anyway, um, over here you see Chanel number no. five and um, Mademoiselle. And then, oh God, I forgot another one. I can't think of where it is. This one is a very unusual one and I got it purely because I love these um, these bottles. This is called Ar Almond Harmony, and it's from the House of Oud. And this is just so so beautiful. Both these, and then Issa Tees, a lot got a lot of Givenchy. Issa Tees and Organza, and then this is another uh, Givenchy, and it's called Oh Mademoiselle. And I remember I worked so hard to get this when it was like I had to get it on pre-sale just to get it. Um, then that Charlotte Tilbury's perfume. Of course, Daisy by Marc Jacobs. This is another favorite, and again, I got it because I felt, you know I love butterflies. And it's called, um, it's an Eau de Toilette. Oh, what is the name of this? Please tell me that it says, what is it? It's not Daisy. I can't think of the name of it. Oh, hello. It's, it's in gold. It's La Nuit. Can you see it right there at the top, at the bottom of the ball? La Nuit. Du Bohème, and it just smells so pretty, y'all. Not to mention, it is a gorgeous bottle, gorgeous bottle. And of course, Cartier. I had to get La Pentier. You can see the panther face. If you, what can you put behind it? So maybe something black. See the panther face. You can kind of see his little nose there at the bottom. Anyway, uh, that's a very sharp smell, much like Charlotte Tilbury. So these are more like evening wear, in my opinion. Bulgari, which I really do love. Back there, you also see very similar scent to me is uh, Dolce & Gabbana's The One. Absolutely love it. There's a Coach one back there, and there is a Prada one back there. Those are little short ones. And then, of course, my favorite all-time, Boucheron. And this one really makes me mad because they're not making it anymore. This is Victoria's Secrets Rapture. And, y'all, if you can get this, get it because they've stopped making it. And it's a wonderful very sweet scent but I love it and then um so I mean I love having these here again I have another perfume collection in the other room let's just walk I'm not gonna let you see my unmade bed y'all <laughs> so we're going by the fireplace isn't it pretty here's the fireplace okay and then y'all have seen this before this is my um my makeup boudoir and it's uh I did this in stages one time where you, I went drawer by drawer what was in it it's sad. I have way, way too much makeup. Oh, there's another perfume I love. Signorina, is, am I saying it right? Signorina by Salvador Ferragamo. And then pictures of me and my husband. And there is the other um, makeup case, I guess I would say. It's got a little, it can be lit. So we can turn it on if we want right there. And my husband gets a whole top row. Does that mean? He just doesn't have that much. Uh, he's got Sauvage million one million Dolce & Gabbana the one my favorite is Le Blue by Chanel um, Gucci there's his and then these are just some more that I don't wear quite as much oh that was the other uh, Chanel one Chance Chance however you say it and there's some uh, Joe Malone's in here there's a little bitty size um, Gin Fizz Lovely is one of my favorite all time ever that's by Jessica um, Sarah Jessica Parker Gardenia Passion is another favorite. It's by Anik Gutal. And, um, oh, that's another favorite of mine. Uh, it smells a lot like Rapture, and that's Red Door. 
white diamonds. Sweet Honesty's from Avon, y'all, but I love it. This one's also very, very sweet, and it is, um, what is it called? Bade de Versailles by Jean de Prix. Oh, and there's my Balenciaga, which y'all seen that one before, like that there. And then there's some baby size ones. Um, and I'm trying to think, is there any, there's another um, Dolce & Gabbana, the one, which I love. And there's another red door, big one back there. So anyway, you guys, that is, there's a picture of me, my husband, one of my, his, he says one of his favorite pictures of me. But anyway, so again, you're seeing the carpet. And look at my, look, a bag, a bag, just a mess. Oh, these are little, um, little baby size perfumes I keep in just a crystal bowl. And a lot of these are samples that I get, you know, but some of them, um, I've gotten, you know, at the counter when I wanted to sample something. And one time I got a little comfrey set so you can see right here. I got, look, these are so dusty, y'all. Um, this one and that one. These are just different Elizabeth Taylor ones. Um, there's a little baby, Ralph Lauren. Um, Midnight Romance. There's a bunch of those. I wouldn't dare try to go through that because that is two and a half inches full of little baby size. And that is, I don't know why this is here like this. It's just a, um, you know, little sticker kit. And why is this here? <laughs> because these are nice little refresher wipes. I'm going to take some to a friend who may be going through some surgery. And they said, well, you know, there's different things you can do to keep yourself, you know, clean and fresh. I'm like, do these little flushable wipes. They are nice to have. I know that was like more than you wanted to know. And then there is just a little cross uh, candle. And me and my husband, when we went to Venice, taking a gondola ride. And that's it, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, comment below if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I'll see you soon. Bye.